Hey everyone, it's Holly. Today's video, I'm heading back to the Enchanted Storybook Collection where I'm going to be showing you book three of the Enchanted Storybooks. This is the 1995 Princess Palace. And if you've been following along, I have already shown book one and two. This is book three. It's so cute and oh, I just love the color of it, but I can't wait to show you around. So let's get started. Okay, today we're back with book three of the Enchanted Storybook series. This is the 1995 Princess Palace. Um, if you've seen my other two videos about the Enchanted Storybooks, you'll know that they are quite a bit smaller. If you haven't seen them yet, please check them out. I will put some links here for you to check them out, but they are so cute. They're just these super small, little compacts shaped like storybooks and the figures that come with them are extra small too. So let's go ahead and open this up. On the side there are clasps on each of these storybooks so the clasp opens up like this and then it opens up like a book. So adorable. So if you're familiar with my channel I like to start uh, from the top and then move down to the bottom these storybooks seem to mostly have some kind of movable part right in the middle. So this one has this decoration here. So I'm just gonna move that away so that we can see the top. Okay, so up top, this appears to be the princess's chamber. There is a four post bed with a canopy on it and the canopy opens to reveal both a bed area but also another seating area up top. There is what I believe to be some kind of uh, bath or fountain over here. There's a vanity area. There is also a chest of jewels, some thrones, and I don't know, what do you think that is? A snack? If you're familiar with the Enchanted Storybooks, they're all really, really sparkly. They are covered in glitter. There's glitter all over this. And that is consistent with all three that I've shown you so far. So if we move down below, again, this will swing up. It swings here to close, but I guess when you're playing with it, that's how that looks so that you're entering their chamber through this decoration. There are some stairs here and this is actually a movable pedestal. So you can twirl this. So a little bit later, I'll put a figure in there so you can see how that works. Underneath, this is sort of their outdoor area. So I presume this is outside of their palace. So there's this cute little, I don't know what you would call this. It's almost like a, a swing, but you turn it and you can seat the two princesses in here and then I'll swing around. This is a stable for a horse that we'll see in a moment. And over here, there is a swing and you can control the swing with this little lever here. Difficult for me to do with the camera, but you get the idea. And underneath, really hard to see, but there is a fish pond underneath and that's just decorated with a sticker. Um, a lot of these stickers are pretty consistent in poly sets and this one looks quite familiar. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I know that I've seen this sticker in another compact that I've shown you on this channel before. Over on the side, there is I don't know, what's that? A birdhouse, maybe? And another beautiful fountain at the front. So this set does come with four pieces, two figures, a horse, and a carriage. So let's start out with the figures. So our first figure is Princess Polly. And um, like I said earlier, the figures that come with these sets are really small. So <laughs> I learned my lesson in the first video where I didn't compare them for you. So here is a regular sized poly. I'm just gonna place them in my hand so that you can see them a little bit better. Um, but the regular sized poly is 
quite a bit taller, so it's about two-thirds the size of a regular Polly figure, so they're, they're quite petite. Um, and Princess Polly has a cute little crown. She's got a beautiful pink dress on and her hair is in a updo. So adorable, but again, so small. So that's figure one. Figure two is Princess Laura. And she also has, she's got a beautiful tiara on her head. She has this beautiful auburn short hair and a lovely emerald colored dress. And again, same size. She's really, really small. So the set also comes with a horse and carriage. Um, curiously, you can only fit one of them in the carriage at a time. So <laughs> here's the tiny horse. Um, this horse looks very similar to the horse that comes in, oh gosh, I'm forgetting the name of it now, um, Starlight Castle, the heart-shaped compact with a castle in it. And um, this is just, again, so much smaller than the rest of the figures we're used to. If I compare this just for reference to a regular sized Polly figure, it's so small. It looks like a miniature pony standing next to Polly, which is super cute. So really really petite and here is the carriage so there there's quite a few um sort of carriages and sleds throughout the early poly um compacts and play sets but again this is just on a smaller scale very similar to the one that is in the sparkle snowland enchanted storybook which is the first in the series but it just fits on there just like that and then the figures, they have to go one at a time, but they can ride in the carriage. Super cute. Okay, I want to show you what that little pedestal does inside the compact. So when you get a figure clicked into there, you can just rotate. It's a little bit difficult, but... That's how that works. So just so that she can show off her pretty dress and do a little twirl there at the top of the stairs. So that is one of the actions. Um, again, there is the swing and then there is the stable. So when you are not playing with the set or it's time for the horse to go to bed, he can go in there. The horse's name, by the way, is Cloud. That is his name. <laughs> and... Uh, additionally, of course, there is the little swing set over here, so we just, it's a little bit difficult, but you can get them seated in there, and I don't know how well they're going to stay, being honest. Not very well, but the idea is that they can sit inside this. I can see this being really frustrating for kids. It's very difficult to get these in there. Um, that's what that looks like. If I know the second I move this that they're gonna fall, yep, there, there they go. Um, maybe not the most fun ride, but hey, what can we ask for? It's a tiny toy. So that is the 1995 Princess Palace. Tell me what your favorite part of this is. Um, gosh. I really don't know. Um, for me, I I do love, actually, I love the tiny horse and I love that there is a little stable. I find that some of these, if I'm being honest, they're just a little bit difficult to play with because they are so small. One of my qualms with the other sets, so Glitter Island being the second storybook and Sparkle Snowland being the first one, is they're a little bit difficult to close and this one at least I find is not super difficult to close. It just closes. The other one, you have to get it just right for it to close. So um, that's probably, <laughs> that's probably honestly my favorite feature of this one. Um, I do like the stable though, and I do like how adorable Cloud this little horse is. That's so cute. And I'm not particularly a horse person by any means, but I just think the size of that is so cute. So let me know in the comments what was your favorite part of this playset.
All right, so what do you think of this one? Um, <laughs> I do like this one a lot, but if I have to pick my favorite feature, if we're being honest here, it's that it closes because the other ones were so frustrating. Um, and this one just closes so easily, so I, I really appreciated that. And I just can't imagine if I had this one as a child, um, well, this one's not bad, but if I had book one or two, they'd probably be pretty frustrating to play with if you wanted to close them, that is. Um, aside from that, I can't get over this little horse. Like, give me a break, that is so cute. So let me know in the comments, what was your favorite feature? Um, and of the storybooks, did you have a favorite one of the three that I've shown so far? This one is really cute, but I would say that of the three I've shown so far, I probably like Glitter Island the best. Um, I just love the colors of it. I love that little monkey. Um, <laughs> so I'd love to know in the comments which book so far has been your favorite. As always, if you have not hit subscribe yet, please hit subscribe and don't forget to like and comment on the video as well. If you're on Instagram, come follow along at Pocket Vintage Toys. That's where you'll find out what my next video is going to be about as I get stuff that arrives to my home. I try to share it on there as best I can. Um, and if you just wanna chat, that's where you can find me. So come follow along on Instagram at Pocket Vintage Toys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.